Hey right, guys, welcome back to Project 383. You can see I got quite a quite a few parts laying here on the table. I went ahead and bought me a new cam cam and lifter set. Uh, <clears throat> it's supposed to have an RV cam in here. This is basically an RV cam too, but I figured what the hell, might as well go ahead and buy a new one. And if I'd known I was going to be tearing down the motor, I would have went ahead and got a full gasket set instead of buying it piece by piece. But basically I've got all my gaskets here. I went ahead and bought the uh, Permatort SD Felpro head gaskets. A little bit higher grade, but they would be worth it. Yep, new head bolt set. E3 spark plugs. Sealed power bearings, AC Delco rotor cap and plug wire set. Of course, new water pump, got an RTV, uh, a couple of the EGR gasket right there, and uh, new fuel pump. The only thing I really ain't bought really is a clutch, and I'm debating on it. I looked at this clutch a little harder, and the uh, Suppose I just had to put in a new clutch, but I don't believe it. Uh, I think I'm going to end up having to get a clutch. The pressure plate's a little bit, a little bit in bad shape. The clutch disc still got some wire on it, but I mean, you can tell it's uh, it's got a little bit of wire left, but it ain't nowhere near new. But I see a lot of grooves on this pressure plate that I don't like, so. I guess I'll be buying a new clutch and pressure plate. Got some throw out bearing, pilot bearing. So I hadn't heard nothing from my head yet, uh, but it'll be all right. I got to get this crank out and uh, clean this block good. I got to take this crank and get over at the machine shop and get it polished. So that's what we're going to work on today is get this crank out of here without scratching it. So I'm going to set y'all up on a tripod where I can uh, go over here and turn this motor back over, get this oil pan off, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh. Alright guys, got the uh, oil pan off, so I had a bunch of antifreeze in the block. Apparently that's why they put these damn drains on here. I've never seen pet cocks on the engine before like this, but oh well. So. First thing I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and pull this oil, oil pump off. And I need to keep it where it's going to get dirty. Plan on reusing that. I don't want to lose that bolt. So it's got two pegs in the, in the bolt hole, and of course the pump mechanism. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull this timing cover back off. Like I said, I ain't saving this timing cover. Uh, I thought I had some new bolts for it, but I ain't sure. Oh, don't. I hope it's got that timing tab on it, though. Well, that should be handy. Alright, so I guess I could have pulled that damn cam out. I don't suppose it really matters that much at this point. Keep my hands halfway clean. The good thing on this uh, motor, I know you don't move the damn tail. Zoom in on something here. Can you see that right there? Every one of these has been stamped. Five, five, six, six, and so forth. So that's going to make it real easy to go back together. I know which side the caps got to go, and I know which order they got to go. I'm hope, hoping I ain't got to pull the pistons out. But if I do, that is what you need to do. But if I pull the pistons out, I would need to mark those. So if you're building a new motor, 
uh, pull the old motor out to rebuild it and get you a stamp set. They don't cost much. Harbor Freight got them for a few dollars. Go ahead and stamp all your, your rods on one side. And uh, I think these mains are already numbered. Well, they're stamped. They stamped them too. Well, on your mains, you got an error. See that arrow right there? Let's see. There's an arrow right there on every one of them, and they always point towards the front. Towards the front of the block. So, it'll be pretty hard to get them mixed up. If you're paying attention to what you're doing. Alright, guys, so uh, I'm going to find my little nut that goes on this crank right here where I can turn it. And then we'll get started. Here's a handy little tool. If you ever work on a small block Chevy, I recommend buying it. See, it's got the keyway cut for the slot in the crank. Let me get y'all zoomed in there. And this thing. Oh, mercy. It don't fit a 400. It fits a 350. Ah, I was kidding. So this thing fits right over that and you can put your half inch drive wrench or I'm going to use this full handle, it's just easier. You can turn that thing any way you want to. So now that I'm able to access the first two rods and they have done some beveling on these, I guess, for block clearance. Yeah, more than likely. Or maybe to balance it. That's some pretty... That's some pretty big holes in this crank for balancing. Sharp, too. I was thinking on these 350s, you had to shave some of the block away to, to, for crank clearance, but maybe they just shaved the... Shave that down. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm talking about. See. Now this thing's beveled. Or this one's flat. I don't know why they would have done that unless it's for block clearance. Alright guys, I went ahead and took my pull handle off the uh, crank here and put a ratchet on there. But I'm gonna need that right here. Oh fuck me. Where'd that fucking bitch go? Shit's gonna happen. Well, I need a little magnet. My uh, adapter's little ball point thing on it that's supposed to hold these sockets on ain't ain't working too good. I forgot about that. Mm. Now them the only two right now I can really get both on. So I'm gonna go ahead Now, I didn't actually, this ain't the bearing I pulled to check, so it's going to be interesting to see how these bearings look on the rest of them. Yeah, it's about the same. It's not wore all the way through. Uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. But it is scored a little bit. Definitely see some. Some scoring on there somewhere. And I hope I got enough fuel line to make what I need to make. That's gonna be a trick. Guys, I got me a little bit of fuel hose. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut me a little 
couple pieces off for each one. I hope I got enough. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick these over that bolt. Just like that. That'll keep that uh, stud from scratching up my crank, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Fire truck. I'm on off there. things start coming off sideways they don't come off very good. One's got a good scratch on it. So I'll cut me a couple more hoses. Let's see then what I want to do. Yep, I'm gonna push this thing forward and get it out of my way. I don't really want to push it all the way out of the block if I can help it. But it's got to clear the crank. I don't know if I can get it to clear the crank without pushing it all the, all the way out the block. And what I may end up doing Probably should have. Probably should have left them on until I got these others going. Let me see what that's going to do for me. And I can get these. I think I'm going to have to, and I didn't, well the pistons are marked, this is number two cylinder, and this is number two piston, I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it guys, I'm just going to push them on out. They look pretty good, they've been all been balanced. Internal balance there, see all the little grooves in them. Uh, shit, now what am I gonna do with all these? Well, at least I can get them good and clean now. Well, that makes it easier on one count and harder on the other. So I'm going to just keep on going. Go ahead and pull the pistons out. When I get ready to pull the crank, I'll pick back up. <coughs> 